Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm Corey again. This is part three of our Learning Starts With You seminar. Um, it's good to see we're already having attendees showing up here. Hi again, Amelia, Hartley, uh, Alette, Kaysen, Catalea, Katie, Rebecca, Veronica. Hi, guys. Let's see. Jordan, Cosimo, um, Anna. They're just all over the place in my list. So if I miss anybody's name, um, hi. <laughs> Milo, I remember you guys from yesterday. Welcome. All right. So um, I'm going to start off by recapping again what we've already gone over. Um, I think that's a good way to one, remember what we've already covered and also gives us a little bit of time for more people to show up in case anybody's running a little bit late. So um, what we've already gone over yesterday, we were talking about skills. So uh, this chapter skills, chapter four, talked about some of the skills you might already have. You could chop wood, you could know how to make pancakes. Uh, it talked about one of the great reasons for having skills is that you don't need someone else to do that thing for you. It's kind of a big part of growing up is gaining so many skills that you can eventually move out on your own and do whatever job you wanna do and you know all the things that you want to know. But then again, of course, it's important to keep on learning and adding to all the skills that you have. Um, you can have skills that are just fun to use. Things like skiing or acting or singing or whistling are all just fun. But it's also important that you gain skills that you can earn money with because to be an adult and do all the things that you wanna do as an adult, you have to have a job where you can earn money. So it talked a little bit about um, how you can think about, you know, skills that you can earn money with. And these are things that you can already be doing as a young person is beginning to practice skills like uh, mowing lawns or babysitting. And then in chapter five, we talked about skills for learning. So it goes over some of the skills you might already have that you already know how to read and write, um, that you, um, but that one of the really important skills that people don't always think about is that knowing how to learn is a skill in itself. That, you know, out there in the world, people don't always think about that learning is an actual, you know, skill that you can get better at. There are good ways to learn and not so great ways to learn, but, the two main skills that we talked about here were one, reading about things, and two, practicing. So we went over some examples of how you could, you know, learn more about things by just reading about them, but then that it's also really important to practice. Uh, one of the really amazing numbers here is that it talked about how um, anybody that's really good at something has probably practiced that thing for thousands of hours. Um, I read a book once that talked about how most experts, like people that are like the very, very best in whatever field, that they researched um, how many hours those people practiced, and they found that it was usually 10,000 hours. The very best um, concert piano players, the very best um, engineers or scientists, they've usually done 10,000 hours of practice in their field, and that's really what made them the best. So uh, everyone at home thought about some things that they could practice to get better at. And everyone, I hope, had a chance to talk to uh, a parent or an adult and ask them how much practice they had to do to get good at what they do. So then um, the next part of the chapter was building your learning skills and thinking about what we could read about or practice to get good at. So on our learning guide here, the activity we were gonna do at home was there was this list of things that I wanna learn over here. <laughs> and then we were gonna check off if we needed to read about them 
or pra uh, practice them or both. So I'd actually like to hear in the Q&A box, uh, you don't have to write your whole list, but some of the things that you uh, wrote down, I wanna hear some of the things that you wanna learn. And if you felt you mainly need to read more to learn about them, you mainly need to practice, or if you maybe need to do both, because those are the uh, kind of like the three situations, mostly reading, mostly practicing, or you need to do both to get better at it. So I'm gonna give you just a couple minutes to write in the Q&A box and say some of the things that you wrote down and what you need to do to learn about them. All right, so we have some answers coming in. I'm gonna go ahead and read some of these out loud to everybody. So Cosmo said, how to take care of a lizard, how to win every lightsaber battle. <laughs> awesome. Um, Amelia said, animal surgery, both. So in order to be a veterinarian and do animal surgery, you would need to uh, read a lot and practice a lot. Milo says, how to make a movie? Reading, yes. Practicing, yes. Good points. Kaysen says, how to do a tail whip? I have to do reading and practicing. I think that's a skateboarding thing, but I'm not totally sure. <laughs> uh, Alette says, how to do a backflip? I think I should do both. Also, how to ride a unicycle? I also think I should do both. Yeah, those are good points. Uh, I think a lot of physical activities, you could read the like read about the technique, but yeah, you definitely have to practice. There's no way you'd ever be able to ride a unicycle or do a backflip just reading about them. Catalea says, how to make a robe, you need to practice and read about it. Awesome. Veronica says, I want to learn how to knit and I think I should practice and read about knitting. Awesome. Kaysen says, shooting a gun, I have to do reading and practice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure in most states you have to even, you know, you have to take classes to be able to own a gun. So good point. Um, Jordan, how the human body works. More about math, how to draw better. To learn about the human body, I can read a lot about it. To learn about math, I can practice and read. And to learn how to draw better, I can practice different techniques. Awesome. Thank you, Jordan. 
Hartley says, doing jumping tricks, I need to practice. Grammar, I need to practice and read. Spelling, I need to practice and read. Getting better at baseball, I need to practice. Being able to beat my dad in strategy board games, I need to practice. <laughs> and he says, jumping further and higher, I need to practice. Good answers. And Kaysen also says a scooter. So I'm assuming those are probably something you need to practice. Adeline says, tricks on a skateboard and gymnastics. So I'd have to practice more. Awesome. Uh, Rebecca says, taking care of a cat. Awesome. And she also says, I think you should read about it. Yeah, you can read about and practice animal care. All right, thank you guys for your answers. All right, so the next part of what we, uh, what I assigned you guys to do yesterday was we had these two final activities. And the first one was choose something that was sort of a shorter activity but everyone was going to, on your own, go learn about it. For this activity, you wanted to choose something that you could probably add more information to what you already knew, um, but hopefully not take too long to learn about it. So I would now like to hear um, responses about what you guys learned about for your shorter activity. This is not the longer one, but the shorter one first. Go ahead and in the Q&A box, write down what you guys learned about. While everyone continues to write in their answers, I had one participant say that they don't have the uh, learning guide at home. So I'm going to share the screen here to bring up the learning guide so that they can see what we're talking about here. So this is our learning guide that has all the steps. Um, when you first sign, when I believe when, when, when families first signed up for this webinar, an email was sent out that you can download this. Um, but if not, uh, if you didn't get that, um, we will see about sending this out again, or I think this one might also be downloadable on our website, but I'm going to check on that. Anyhow, here, the beginning of the learning guide, there's a place where you can put your name, the date, and it talks about the purpose of the course and how to do it. And the learning guide is a series of steps where it shows what to read and activities that you can do. And this is all stuff that you can do at home. Um, we went through all these steps. And the last thing that participants were gonna do at home yesterday was these two final activities. So the first one said, choose one of the things from your list in the chart. This was a chart up here where it was things I want to learn. And then there was an area to mark if you are if you thought you mainly need to read to learn about it, 
or if you think you mainly need to practice to learn about it, or both, because some active, some things that we want to learn about, they take reading and practice. So then after we filled out that chart, the final activities were to choose one of the things from your list in the chart and on your own, go learn about it. And for this activity, choose one of the easier ones on your list. And after we were done with that, we were going to learn something that was a little bit harder than the first one. And it's okay to get help on certain steps if you need to, but you should mostly be learning on your own. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I'm gonna leave this up on the screen just a little bit longer so that you can read those. And uh, participants can continue uh, typing in their answers. So we'll just leave it here for a minute. Um, if you're just seeing this activity for the first time right now, I know you probably won't have time to go do that. And that's okay because you can continue working on this after the webinar is over today. That's totally fine. All right, so if you've had a chance to read through all that, we're gonna go back to our answers. So this is what um, our participants said for the first activity, the shorter one. So Amelia said she learned how to balance on a scooter. That's very cool. Jordan said, I learned that our body actually copies itself to keep us growing. So that's some biology, great. Milo said he learned that I can write better, awesome. Alette said, I learned what the most popular movie in the world is and it is Titanic. <laughs> I don't know, I'm a, I'm a big Marvel fan and I believe uh, Avengers last year may have uh, beaten Titanic, but that might be up for debate. Um, Kaysen said that he learned, uh, I'm sorry, I think, anyway, um, Kaysen said how to do the dishes, awesome. Hartley said, I learned how to shuffle cards the fancy way. Awesome. Adeline said, I learned more about gymnastics. Awesome. Okay, cool. So um, the last activity on here, the longer one, where we're choosing something else from the list in the chart that would take you know longer to learn about, or it might be a little bit harder. I now want to hear what you all learned about uh, for that longer step. Um, if I didn't read your answer for the last one yet, uh, feel free, you can still write in your answer for that too. Just say maybe shorter activity, this is what I learned. And then you could say longer activity, this is what I learned. So I'm gonna give you just a few minutes to write in those answers and then I'll read some of them out loud.
Okay, I'm gonna read some of these answers and feel free to keep on typing your answers in as I'm reading here. So, Adeline said, I learned more about gymnastics. Very cool. Rebecca said, I have a cat and now I take care of her every day. Very cool. Uh, Kaysen said, how to mow the lawn. Awesome. Alette said, I learned how to go on the treadmill for 30 minutes and not get tired. That is awesome. <laughs> uh, Milo said, how to do kata four. Kata four is a combination of moves and karate because uh, they do karate. Awesome. Hartley said, first, I have been building a bike trail in my woods, but yesterday I built a ramp along the trail and learned to jump it. That is amazing. Good job. Amelia said, animal surgery, you have to give medicine to make them fall asleep. Very cool. Jordan said, I learned about the circumference and diameters of circles and about the radius of circles. That's awesome. Good job. And Kaysen said, the longer one would be changing a car tire and the brakes. I helped my dad a few days ago do all that. That's awesome. That is a really good life skill, being able to do automotive and car stuff. So thank you guys very much for sending those answers in. Um, that is the last activity on our learning guide. So um, I hope you guys have really enjoyed doing um, the whole learning guide here. You can, if you have a printout at home, you can go ahead and sign all those steps off. You can sign your, uh, your student step here that you've done everything. I won't be able to sign the teacher line here from afar, but what we are planning to do is everyone that completed this whole webinar, we wanna send out a certificate to all of you to say, you know, good job. Thank you for doing this distance learning activity with us and well done on doing the whole thing. So now that you've finished the whole learning guide, um, what I wanted to do was recommend to all of you some more things that you can now basically take this information and run with it, like what you can now, you know, use to um, learn next. So the first thing that I wanted to go over is that we basically what the schedule is for the rest of the week. So if you go to delphian.org slash webinar uh, hyphen information, this is what the page looks like. And after you go here, this is what the top of the page looks like. So you know you're on the right page. Uh, scroll down and this is our whole schedule of classes for this week. So this is what we're starting off with. Today is Tuesday. We're right here at you know 1230. This was Learning Starts With You part three. Um, but you can see that starting at 1.30 is Earth Geography with Robin. And then later this afternoon at 2, 3, this is all Pacific time, by the way. If you're on the, you know, later time zone, um, you know, just add the, uh, the right number of hours to that. But at 2.30 Pacific time, Sam and Remy are going to be teaching word problems, whole numbers. And tomorrow, starting off in the morning, Alyssa is going to be going over untangling grammar, simplifying the tricky parts. I'm told that her grammar class this morning had a huge number of participants. Um, we know that grammar is a tough subject, but you know we have a pretty you know fun, easy way of teaching it. So if you've ever had trouble with English grammar, um, you can look into that. It says 13 to 18. Um, this is usually something that we teach in the high school, but if you're interested and you have you know a high reading level, if you're pretty good at reading, uh, look into that. It might be something that you're, you know, interested and able to do too. Uh, later in the day, it's five senses. This is a science course. This is for ages seven to 10. We're going to be doing American history, ages 10 to 12. Uh, then I'm going to be teaching with Torben uh, math class tomorrow at 1230, same time, if this time has been working for you. We're going to be talking about math word problems in general. Um, my uh, class that I teach in person when we're all at school, um, I would say probably the main thing that is tricky for students in math is word problems. Uh, no matter what you know area of math we're talking about, whether it's you know fractions or division or 
anything else, when we switch over to having word problems to do, that can be really tough. So we're going to talk about strategies for how to take a word problem and figure out, you know, what math is involved, like what strategy do you need to use to, you know, um, find out what's even going on. Like it's a, a whole paragraph of text. What are the important parts? What are the actual numbers and procedures you're going to use? So that's getting good at math word problems at 1230. And that will be for, you know, ages 11 to 15, but generally it's going to be sort of a middle school uh, math level. And then we have who makes the world run that is being taught at 130. That's a course that's kind of like the course we just did learning starts with you. It kind of talks about um, how the world works and you know what your part is in it. So if you're interested in that, you can sign up for that one. And then at the end of the day, 2.30 Pacific time, basic first aid and emergencies. That's going to be a really fun course because that's all about how to, you know, if people have a cut or, you know, they've been poked with something, how you help people out when they are injured, uh, different emergency situations. That will be a fun class. James and Remy are really good, fun teachers too. Um, some of these courses also, they have like a part two or a part three. Make sure you check the schedule because basic first aid and emergencies is at 2.30 on Wednesday, but it's at 1.30 on Thursday. So check that out. Uh, again, all of these classes are totally free. Um, you can sign up for any of them or all of them. We will be teaching all day if you guys are interested in. I think now that we have finished, learning starts with you. That is my last recommendation to all of you is to pick out some courses or some classes here that look fun, that look interesting, that are something that you want to learn more about and sign up for them. Um, also, keep on learning on your own. Since a lot of us are at home right now, this is a good opportunity to learn about whatever you want to learn about, whether it's you know doing more cooking, um, helping out around the house, um, building something in the backyard you've always wanted to build. People talked about building jumps, building ramps. Um, I think some people have been building tree houses. Um, yeah, go have fun, go learn some stuff. So that's all we have for today. We're ending off a little bit earlier today than we did the first two parts, but that should give you some extra time to, uh, go and learn some more things. So I've really enjoyed doing this. I'm really happy that we're doing this distance learning and it's been great, uh, talking to all of you. And I'm looking forward to doing a lot more of it. So thanks, guys. My name is Corey. I'll see you later.